<clears throat> okay. Leaving your body behind versus morphing it. I hope I'm not going to be too all over the place on this one. <laughs> um, okay, this is more on ascending the physical body and the um, characteristic uh, uh, individuality <laughs> of the OBE experience and the ascending the physical body experience. Now, before I really get rolling, because I'm not exactly sure how to proceed <laughs> yet, you, you know, I, I, I get energy, I sometimes pick up on things, but right now I'm, I'm not picking up on a lot. So what I'm going to say here is this. Um, we know that our consciousness has entered uh, a limited grid pattern idea here on this version of planet Earth. Um, something like 90% of our brain doesn't work. We're only using 10% of our brain uh, and our DNA. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but some large ridiculous percentage up they're near the percentage of the brain, <laughs> the 90%. Um, science classifies as junk DNA. They don't know what it does. They say it doesn't do anything, right? So now these are our telltale signs, right? That we have entered a limited grid pattern. And this is why the mm, experiential choice of... Um, Ascending the physical body exists of morphing it, not just on a 3D level, but on every dimensional level, morphing it, you know, right up through the dimensions even, or even most especially. <laughs> Although, you know, for many, gosh, it would be totally fun to see what while I'm here, I mean, what this body actually could do if it was functioning fully, you know, at 100%. <laughs> um, the teleportation, the telepathy, all of, all of that, you know, sounds pretty interesting to me. Uh, I, there's many things that I would like to experience here uh, on this level <laughs> uh, at 100% efficiency. And so, yeah, that's partway on my agenda into this. Um, so we know that we, we know, we, we don't think, we're not guessing, we know we have entered a limited grid pattern idea here. And um, some of us are here to change it, <laughs> to uh, ascend it, to lift it up. Uh, to lift that percentage of the brain function from 10% up toward 100. <laughs> to take our current uh, active DNA and lift it up toward 100%. Okay, this is ascending the physical body. <clears throat> now, I suppose what you have to do when considering these experiences, the out-of-body experience and the ascending the physical body experience, is where does your attention go? Which one lights up your interest? Which one of those ideas glows the most for you? Um, just give your attention to the idea for a moment and you'll immediately feel a lift upon hearing one of those. Um, and you'll know what you are here to do. Um, now I will say there are other ways and other options. For instance, there are those who phase their consciousness directly through rather than go out of body. And this is another option. There may be other options I'm not even thinking of right now. I'm just sort of putting these two together because they do seem to be predominant in uh, the collective consciousness of humanity here at this moment. Um, 
if your attention goes to ascending the physical body, you're in for a ride. You're in for a... Uh, and out there, fully feelable, fully uh, vibratory ride. Um, <laughs> um, and I, I'm sure there are many ways to experience this as well, and you know, you can take it to whatever level is interesting to you. Um, but for now, I think I just want to mention sort of the newest thing that began happening with me this week in this journey. And I don't have a lot to report on it. I wish I had more to report. I, I just put in my request to the energies. <laughs> um, it's still very challenging for me to cognize on, uh, you know, with the standard waking consciousness. Um, but I am opening to this. Uh, so a couple times in the night this week, my consciousness barely came to, barely came awake into a, a brand new vibration, a brand new experience. And on the second morning, when I woke up, and I just sort of said to myself, what was that? One word came through. And this is, I don't even know that this is what happened. This is just the word that came through that I guess the energies felt my consciousness could handle in regard to what was happening. And that word was dematerialization. It does seem that the process of this body actually dematerializing <laughs> Uh, from the physical, um, what, what's the right word? Um, from the physical density that it, it is in my waking consciousness, it is dematerializing from that to a degree into um, a lesser density, higher light kosha. Um, I do believe that if anyone would have looked in the room while this was happening, they would have seen my physical body phasing out, sort of like what you see on Star Trek when they're beaming down <laughs> somewhere. You see their body there and you see them start to dematerialize until they're gone. Um, it was a rush. Um, so they're giving this one to me slowly. I'm having to receive it slowly. <clears throat> As open as I am to these things, as accustomed as I am beginning to get with these vibrations, um, you know, they can just still take me for <laughs> take me for a ride, and I have to do the ride before I, you know, get to the um, the fullness of the event. Before I get to the top of the roller coaster. <laughs> um, okay, so that's my new experience. As much as I'm able to report today, I have more videos to do uh, that I would like to complete today. I would like to go into uh, elemental particles next. And so, if my next video is about elemental particles, you know that I was able to continue. <laughs> Thank you for listening this far. Uh, I look forward to hearing your comments or just feeling your presence as you watch and listen.